good morning everybody. So we are on the way to Shigeti and this trip will be full or five days around Lhasa and Shigeti. And right now we are here at the Yarlung Valley or the Klasa Kichu. And this is the Chushu Bridge. Okay, so we are on the top of the Kambala Pass and you can see over here this lake we call as Yamdok Lake and one of the holiest lake in Lhasa including with the Manasavara Lake, Namto Lake and Hamulazo Lake and this one. Okay, so here yeah, this dog is Tibetan Murphy dog. You see, it looks like a loin. <laughs> And at the back side, you can see that one is the Yamdong Lake. And over here, the altitude it is about 4,990 meters from sea level. And I, I don't have any problems with altitude. Okay, we are here very near to the lake. That side, it is much better. The sunshine looks like some of the shining place. You see the stars or some of the diamonds. And at my back side, you can see all the mountain of this snow mountain. And actually, uh, today it is, it is a little bit cloudy. The weather, if no any cloud on the sky and it's very clear then you can see very clear of that and that should be a very beautiful scene from here and we will go over there and also we will pass that mountain and about here the altitude it is about 4442 from sea level and anyway I'm going to test the water and I'm going to uh, how cold it is, how cold it is. Wow, it's pretty cold enough for over here. At this moment, maybe in the summer it will be much better. But in this lake, we are not allowed to swim in here. So. All right, one of the beautiful scenes is over here on the Yamdog Lake. You see there are two colors, same as like a painted on a cloth. There are two colors, one is deeply, I mean the dark blue and one is light blue. At the back side there is a lot of clouds and the snow mountain. We call that mountain as Nyanjing uh, Kangsar. You see over here there is some of the shepherds are leading the sheep. Back to their own home. A big groove, a huge groove of a sheep. And right here, you see two shepherds. In Tibet, but there is no shepherd dog. Wow, it's beautiful, huh? And on the way, if you're lucky, then you will see like these kind of yaks over here. All these yaks are nomad yaks. Okay, so here we are at the Karula Pass. We have been all the passes, the Karula Pass, and this is the Karula Glaciers. One of the huge glaciers. And about the heat. Height is about 5,560 meters from sea level.
换几缕，目不转睛里望着他的神秘，世界无几上流金。What are you doing, Lotte? I'm writing to Baden, family names and some of Lama names to have some good luck and in future. English. What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. 那大不一样了些，这个什么意思呢？这个什么意思？你们你们呀，你们你们，生意大几个，大几个。我当然大几个，这不都是那个了，谁在打？All right, we are here on the way to Shigatsi, and you will see uh, here the farmers are farming on their own fields with the horse and one man. And there is one lady; she is picking some of the bad grasses from the field. And also, in Tibetan, we used to call this place, the namely Yangtze, is the store of a uh, store of a barley country. You see. Okay, so we are here at one of the families. Oh, house. You can see on the wall all these green things. These are the cup. I mean the yak cakes. And we used to burn these during the winter to make the food or to make the warm inside the houses. And all these are very. Very hard to see in other countries. Okay, this is the dry one, and at that side is the wet one. I mean, newly made it, and this has been put it about maybe few months, and then after that they will all collect all these things in their own house, keep it inside there. And during the winter times, they will use all these things. And inside the cow cakes, there is also some of the weeds inside here. You see? It is too dry over here. Go on. <laughs> okay, let's go back to Shigate. Okay, so we are here 
at one of the special places. This place it is producing one of the most Tibetan special food, Samba. All of the tourists, you all maybe know about Samba. Okay, let's go inside and have a look. Ah. Have a look. So how the Tibetan people are making Tamba is here. You can have a look. What they are you all these are the farmers. You see? And then at here they are making the floss by using the water energy up here. And this one also too. Mm. The smell is great at here. And this monastery, it is one of the most special monastery in whole Tibet. In Tibetan Buddhism, there are five sects actually. And in this monastery, you can see all five sects in all five sects. If you are in Lhasa, you can't see like these monasteries. Because you know, all the monastery uh, belongs to some of the one sect. So that's why. This is the main assembly hall. And you see over there. So main and most important thing in this monastery is this stuba. You can call stuba. So this stuba is one of the most important things. We call it as a bell called chöten. Chöten means stuba. Actually you can call belgo stuba. Inside this stuba, there are 100,000 Buddha statues. And about the layer is sixth layer. If you, I mean, if you look from 90 degree from the sky, then it is looks like a Mandela. You mean you know the Mandela, right? And at side of this monastery, you can see there is a wall that is just for the protection of this monastery. You see over here, it's so beautiful. And then come to Tibet and visit this monastery, especially. Okay, we are here at inside the Tashinama Monastery and this monastery is one of the biggest yellowhead monastery in whole Tibet and also this monastery it is built in 1447 by the first Dalai Lama and right now this monastery it is taken care by the Benchen Lama, second greatest Lama in Tibet Actually, Benjen Lama is a student of the first Dalai Lama and after pass uh, the Dalai Lama and then um, this monastery it is taken by him, the Benjen Lama. Okay, so right now I'm leaving Shikazi and going back to Lhasa and from this day I have been finished with the Shikazi's tour, I mean the six day tour including with the Lhasa two days and Shikazi two days and then send off. So this is the end of the tour.